Okay, we're here in uh, Blumhoff in the Free State of South Africa with uh, Pastor Eric Kamako of uh, Tumalong Baptist Church. You received a team from Virginia in August. Tell us how, how was that experience? We really had a wonderful time with the team. We enjoyed their presence. We enjoyed the preaching. We enjoyed their stay here with us. I was I was taking them to you know different institutions with which I have a relationship. They were warmly accepted. We were told um, even in services and uh, average attendance was around 300, 350, 400. And uh, and the, the the sermons were were very good. We have around two to three hundred people who gave themselves to the Lord. It was, it was wonderful. So you were able to use this uh, big cowboy preacher from Virginia to market the church? We would go with him uh, to different houses and, and he would introduce himself and, and people on the street, they would see this cowboy and, <laughs> you know, interact with him. That was uh, unusual uh, around here about, about uh, Brother Baba was one the cowboy, it was their first time to, you know, have a close, you know, interaction with, with the, a cowboy uh, uh -huh. With person. his big cowboy yes. hat. And when he was preaching, he was using that hat. And that was one of the things, you know, which was like, wow, <laughs> it's our first time seeing this. So really, it, the whole week was, was quite exciting. It was very much exciting. Did you fill up the church building at night? Uh, the church was full. And we even went to a point of organizing a public address because other people were standing outside wanting to hear the message. What effect is it having on your church now, now that the team has gone back to Virginia? The positive in a sense that we have people in the church as we, as we speak and they are serious about the Lord, they are saving the Lord, they are excited about the, 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 you know, having accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Uh, what would you like to say to our brothers and sisters in Virginia? I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude and, and thanks. I'm excited and I'm looking forward, if, if an opportunity presents itself, that uh, you know, other team comes, I would really love that if we could be allocated some to come and spend time with us. Really, uh, I enjoy the partnership and we sing the results, positive results for that matter. How can uh, people in Virginia pray for you and your family and your church? It has been my heart's wish, church growth. And I've, I've, I've thought about it, I've, I've, I've prayed for it, and uh, we would really love to be joined by the partnership and uh, uh, our, our uh, partners in, in Virginia to really pray for us that we want to really see a growing church. We want to make a positive impact for Christ. Have you been to the U.S.? When we had partnership with the Baptist Church in North Carolina, I was <clears throat> fortunate to form part of the team which flew to North Carolina and I was allocated quite a number of churches to go and preach to and it was, it was wow, wonderful. One week or two weeks that I will never forget in my life. It was great. Caleb. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>